You know, I asked Jensen on this pod if there was any chance over the course of the next five years we would have a compute glut. And he said it's virtually non-existent chance in the next two to three years. And I assume you guys would both agree with Jensen that while we can't see out five, six, seven years, certainly over the course of the next two to three years for the, th- for the reasons we just discussed, that it's almost a non-existent chance that you have excess compute. Well, I mean, I think the, the cycles of demand and supply in this particular case you can't really predict, right? I mean, even the, the point is, what's the secular trend? The secular trend is what Sam said, which is at the end of the day, because quite frankly, the biggest issue we are now having is not a compute glut, but it's a power. And it's sort of the ability to get the bills done fast enough, close to power. So if you can't do that, you may actually have a bunch of chips sitting in inventory that I can't plug in. And in fact, that is my problem today, right? right. It's not a supply issue of chips. It's actually uh, the fact that I don't have warm shells to plug into. And so how some supply chain constraints emerge tough to predict uh, because the demand is just going, you know, is tough to predict, right? I mean, I wouldn't, you know, it's not like Sam and I would want to be sitting here saying, oh my God, we are less short on compute. It's because we just were not that good at being able to project out what the demand would really look like. So I think that that's, and by the way, the worldwide side, right? One, it's one thing to sort of talk about one segment in one country. <laughs> 可儿姐马上把私募基建基金投资逻辑拆解，和数据中心项目盈利模型发你解读里还标了关键数据来源，你可以直接放心用。